Welcome to Orlando Live. I'm Raisa Pascal and we are here at the 2018 Florida Film Festival with legendary award-winning actress Ellen Burstyn. Ellen, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. So behind these walls is a packed house of individuals who have showed up in their droves to see Requiem for a Dream. 18 years later, did you ever think that this film would still have such a huge impact? I didn't. I th thought it was a nice little art film that would, you know, have a short life and go wherever art films go to retire. <laughs> and I'm, I'm surprised that it's known all over the world. It got a rating that prohibited um, teenagers from seeing it. And then I found out that mothers were renting the film and fathers and bringing it home to show to their kids because it's such a cautionary tale against drugs. So it serves an important social function. Absolutely, very powerful film. And I have to ask, do you ever still get told that you were robbed of that Academy <laughs> Award? Because I'm sure everyone in that room would agree with the fact that you were robbed. What, what happened, what do you think? <laughs> it's so funny, everybody tells me that. Even strangers on the street yes. will walk by me and take one look at me and go, you were robbed. <laughs> So uh, I would love to ask, you know, you've had such a, a long, uh, successful career, you know, um, triple crown of acting, very, very few uh, actresses have ever won that, just, you know, the, the list is endless. Could you share some advice, some words of wisdom for those who are watching who would strive to have, you know, a successful career like the one you had? Well, I think the most important thing for any artist is to be working all the time. And for actors, we can't be at home working like painters can or pianists, you know, musicians. We need a stage and an audience. So join a theater group and don't confuse work with employment. You don't always get employment, but you can be working all the time. Beautiful. I'll ask you just one more question. If you could just share maybe some new projects you're working on, anything exciting you can give us a little sneak peek about? Well, I have a film called Bathing Flow that I've been trying to get on for three years now to both direct and act in. And we're very close, okay. uh, but it comes together and it falls apart and comes together and falls apart. So um, right now we're just one million dollars short of the budget. We have most of it, but we still need one more million. So when that happens, I'll be directing and acting. Fantastic. You guys heard it. If you want to see it, I know you want to see Ellen Burstyn on screen again. Donate a million dollars to her. <laughs> no, not donate. Invest. Inve there, invest. It's an investment. We want to see you on the screen again. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. And I have a film opening this week called House of Tomorrow, House of Tomorrow. which is a wonderful film. Okay, great. Well, we look forward to that. And we look forward to the rest of your career. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Wonderful. This has been Orlando Live, and I'm Raisa Pascal. Thank you for watching.